Amongst the early pioneers of the Koja Shiite nursery community, Haji Ghulam Ali Ismail, known as Haji Naji, was instrumental in establishing the knowledge base necessary for the community to prosper and become what it is today. On the women's side, we should also not forget the achievements and contributions of Kulsum by Ghulam Hussein Qasim, known as Mrs. Kimji, an outstanding scholar in her own right. Mrs. Kimji was born in Kutch, India in 1899. She was married in Pemba at the age of 14, only to be widowed seven months later while carrying her daughter Zaino. She then opened a madrasa, teaching Quran, Salat, Urdu, Gujarati, reading and writing to the children, in addition to opening a night school for ladies of the community, teaching them the rules of the religion, as well as how to read and how to write. On the death of her in-laws, she moved to Zanzibar and took up reciting Majalis. She remarried after her daughter was married, requesting her mahar to be the repayment of her debts, as well as permission to continue doing tabligh. She traveled to many parts of Africa, reciting Majalis, including to Mehfil Abbas in Dar es Salaam. Ladies used to travel from far and wide to listen to her recite, and in this way she created Islamic awareness amongst the ladies of various communities. She also composed eulogies about the events of the day of Ashura, which in and of themselves were lessons of Islamic history. Mrs. Kimji did not stop with her own community. She arranged interfaith conferences and wide-reaching processions in the month of Muharram. Besides all of this, she was a matchmaker, a counselor, and she also raised two more daughters as well as the offsprings from her husband's first marriage. When confined to bed because of a back injury, she utilized the time to write a book of her majlises. When widowed for a second time, she wrote another book on the life of Sayyidah Zainab salam, dedicating it to her husband, calling it Sharika to Hussein. Her achievements are made even more incredible by the realization that all of her teachings were based on self-taught education. As she derived her lectures and her books from the studies she did in her own time and of her own volition. This determination and resulting success is a hallmark that the women of this generation can use as a role model in their own lives. A mini survey was conducted and those whose lives had been touched by Mrs. Kimji were asked what difference she made in their lives. The following are the five most common answers. She changed the concept about the majalis held in the month of Muharram. She made the member an educational platform. She brought religion to life. It wasn't just do's or don'ts. She connected history to the everyday humdrum of life. She put the Quran and the Hadith into mental images that we could comprehend. Even the children of the women who had attended her talks some of whom are community leaders and elders today, gave the same answers again and again. It was she who through their mothers had inspired them to study Islam. Whenever their mothers and sisters came home from her talks, their homes were vibrant with discussions about what she had said. These women would repeatedly say, she inspired their mother to instill in them the love of learning. Mrs. Kimchi died on the 18th of Ramadan, 1396, after Hijra, September 1976, and is buried in Dar es Salaam.